dogs are said to be man's best friend. That being said, we know there are some which aren't so friendly, and then there are those that are just evil. These corrupt canines have many names. Most know them as hellhounds or phantom black dogs. In this video, we are going to take a look at these pernicious pups. Welcome to IF, videos on the strange and creepy. New content posted weekly, hit that subscribe button and never miss a video again. Stories of large black dogs have spanned the centuries and terrorized to this very day. These beasts have a hellish appearance, their fur is said to be black as night and their eyes burn like fire. Said to have the ability to materialize and dematerialize, at will, along with taking a mysterious ghost-like appearance. Black dogs are a paranormal phenomenon and this has been reported for the longest time. The stories of hellhounds are predominantly from the British Isles, but they have been seen throughout Europe and of late there has been an increasing number of sightings in the US. So where can these vicious creatures be found? Often they prowl desolate stretches of road, haunted forests, churches and especially active locations often carry a history of being a place of execution. Those that tell tale of the black dogs have said that they are everything from the ghosts of those executed at these locations to demons and harbingers of death to the devil himself, these dogs being an earthly manifestation of the devil's evil. This being said, reports that have come to light recently say that these feared hounds are not dangerous, quite the opposite. The phantom creature has appeared as a protector, guarding the person or persons it appears to from danger. The most recent sightings have also led to the discovery that these occurrences often happen very near water. Could there be a connection there? If we take a look at the characteristics of the hound, we can find a number of definable traits. They are known to howl at the moon in a similar fashion to a wolf along with scavenging from decaying carcasses. This has associated them with death and it is claimed that they have the ability to see spirits and even the angel of death himself. These habits have the beast sounding very wolf-like but some other traits bring them back to the realm of dogs. They are said to be companions of other evil entities such as vampires and witches providing guardianship and protection for their masters, much in the same way as a regular dog. Unlike a normal dog, they are said to be large and of course have the jet black coats with bright red eyes they are so famed for. They are also considered a bad omen by many. When they appear, disaster is said to shortly follow. Legends such as Black Shuck tell of a canine which stood at over 7 feet tall. First seen by the monks of Peterborough Abbey in 1127, death followed in the Black Shuck's wake. People of the time told of how Shuck killed four people in two local churches, leaving a telltale sign of his visit in the form of dead bodies and a deep claw mark slashed into the church doors. To this day people continue to claim being stalked by Shuck and in 2014 a very large skeleton was unearthed at Leiston Abbey in Suffolk. The huge canine remains have been claimed to be those of Black Shuck. This leads us to the question, if these hounds could be an actual real animal, this animal feared by people who see it, this fear then leading to these beasts growing to legendary status and receiving all the supernatural abilities it is said to possess. Dogs have been with man for about 20,000 years, some think possibly longer, used to work in the company of man, sometimes to hunt and sometimes to protect. These animals grew to be the favored companion of man for millennia. During this time a spiritual bond grew. Archaeologists and historians say that this bond grew out of the true domestication of the species some 10,000 years ago. 
This is when dogs begin to become woven into the mythology and belief systems of the early civilizations. The tribes of the Mesolithic leaving us evidence in the form of a dog's tooth found at a site one mile from Stonehenge. This shows us that Mesolithic man was using domesticated dog while hunting and gathering. Neolithic people also left us with evidence of the dog's importance, when remains were found of canines which had been ritually sacrificed. This done so the dog's spirit would become a guardian of the village. This is the jumping off point of superstition, commonly considered a bad sign due to the idea that these animals were the guardians of the dead and the protectors of portals and passages leading to the underworld. Legends grew. The black dog slowly began to grow more evil, first being associated with witches and warlocks and finally being linked to the most evil force people knew, the devil. The belief that these hounds are the devil and not a companion still holds strong in Europe today, particularly in Germanic cultures. There are other cultures around the world that do share some of these beliefs with Europeans. Persia, Tibet and India associate black dogs with rituals performed at death. This belief was also common to ancient Celtic custom, with the hounds thought to exist in an intermediary position between this world and hell beneath. Other appearances of black dogs in history have added to the legend. Anubis could arguably be the most famous of the black dogs. The jackal headed or dog headed god associated with the dog star Sirius was thought of as a guardian of paths and guarded the entrance to the afterlife. Greek mythology tells of how the gates of Hades were guarded by a giant fearsome dog named Cerberus. This belief of the Greeks continued with the Romans and when they conquered much of Europe these beliefs became mixed with the Celtic ideas. It would seem that these black dogs could be a reflection of the structure cultures have given to the afterlife. Or then again we mustn't forget about the remains unearthed in the Suffolk town. Is the Howhound a real creature feared and gifted supernatural abilities because of the association with death? Or is it something truly paranormal, a cryptid of legend, a guardian of the dead? and a messenger from hell. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And before the usual sign off I would like to say a big thank you to Mad Cat Mysteries for giving me a shout out in the last video on that channel. Go check the channel out there is some great stuff over there, I will post the link in the cards at the end of the video, please go check it out. So as always. If you like what we do here at the channel hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell. Find us on social media by clicking the links at the top of the channel's main page or by searching we are if. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.